Hello, it's Adele on the cover of British Vogue, and she's rolling into so many of the deep topics like her divorce, anxiety, weight loss, and seriously, so much more. So let's get into it. In her first interview since 2016, Adele is letting the world know that nothing is off the table. Adele took to her Instagram to show off the gorgeous British Vogue cover, which gives off, as she wrote, major babes vibes. She explained, imagine four larger than life Brits, Tasmanian deviling around Milk Studios in Manhattan, all under the watchful eagle eye of the myth, the legend, the most iconic and hilarious Stephen Mizell, we caused havoc. She then went on to thank her team and gave us another stunning photo this time for the American Vogue cover. Clad in a beautiful emerald gown at the top of the still under construction at the time Academy Museum of Motion Pictures. She wrote, they let us use their incredible rooftop and grounds to shoot me dressed up and looking rather fancy if I do say so myself. A little bit of Tottenham and Hollywood's museum. Oi oi, Alistair McLellan photographed me for this cover who amongst so many other things also shot the 25 album cover. If anything could set fire to the rain, it's these photos. Lucky for us, Adele didn't just gift us with some beautiful photos, she also opened up to the magazine about, well, everything that's happened since her last interview five years ago. Adele addressed her divorce from ex-husband Simon Konecki head on in the cover story saying, it just wasn't, it just wasn't right for me anymore. I didn't want to end up like a lot of other people I knew. I wasn't miserable, miserable, but I would have been miserable had I not put myself first. But yeah, nothing bad happened or anything like that. She even expanded on how the divorce has impacted Angelo, her eight-year-old son that she shares with Simon. Adele explained, my anxiety was so terrible. I'd forget what I had or hadn't said to Angelo about separating. Obviously, Simon and I never fought over him or anything like that. Angelo is just like, I don't get it. I don't really get it either. There are rules that are made up in society of what happens and doesn't happen in marriage and after marriage, but I'm a very complex person. I've always let him know how I'm feeling from a very young age because I felt quite frazzled as an adult. Adele went on to address her weight loss and exactly what inspired her to get fit. And no, it wasn't exactly moving her life to Los Angeles. She told Vogue, I think one of the reasons people lost the plot was because actually it was over a two year period. It was because of my anxiety. Working out, I would just feel better better. It was never about losing weight. It was always about becoming strong and giving myself as much time every day without my phone. I got quite addicted to it. I work out two or three times a day. So I do my weights in the morning. Then I normally hike or I box in the afternoon. Then I go and do my cardio at night. I was basically unemployed when I was doing it and I do it with trainers. It's not doable for a lot of people. But don't think losing all that weight has changed Adele. She's still someone like you. She said, people have been talking about my body for 12 years. They used to talk about it before I lost weight, but yeah, whatever, I don't care. You don't need to be overweight to be body positive. You can be any shape or size. Don't worry though, Adele also dished some upcoming album details that will certainly make you feel her love. She teased, I love my lyrics on this record. I think I'm actually one of the most punk artists around. My music, absolutely not. But the way I move is very punk. I was drunk as a fart on 21. I really don't remember much. I just remember being really sad. On 25, I was obviously sober as anything because I was a new mom. That one, I was sort of more in tune with what I thought people might want or not want. With this one, I made the very conscious decision to be like, for the first time in my life, actually, what do I want? However, rumor has it that when it arrives, there might be a spike in divorce rates since Adele did not hold back when it comes to singing about the failings of men. After playing a specific song for the interviewer, she joked, can you imagine couples listening to it in the car? It'd be so awkward. I think a lot of women are gonna be like, I'm done. Oh snap. All I ask is that this album comes out already. We'll be waiting to hear the first full track from it on Friday, October 15th. Just in case you missed it, go ahead and click right over here for the teaser for Adele's upcoming single, Easy On Me. And let us know in the comments how you're getting ready to be emotionally devastated by her new album. Is there a way to prepare? <laughs> for now, guys, I'm your host, Carly Henderson. You can find me on Instagram at carlyhenderson underscore, and I'll see you soon.